Oh, you heard a lot about Reef Bright. Uh, oh, yeah. We've learned a lot. We've also figured out some mistakes along the way. You don't have to learn for yourself. You can learn from our mistakes, and that's what we're going to do today. Number one, I actually thought there was only one major use for these, and uh, I was wrong. Yeah, me too. And I actually made this mistake, and that's thinking that these Reef Bright LED strips are only for bolting onto like T5s, like the Sun Power. It does. It is really convenient that the brackets fit on the front of the Sun Power, and that's what I used it for. But we learned a lot more this year. Yeah, in fact, I think the hood for my own tank at home is arriving today in the warehouse, so we'll bring it to my house. And I'm putting in six of these strips of the XHOs actually in my own house. And so you can see how that's going in there, but there's so many more uses for these that were totally overlooked. All right, so number two is actually the place where I first said, whoa, we were missing something here. It was on the E170 in my office. Yeah, so the mistake is overlooking the three and five mounting bracket to take your XHOs or your LumiLite Pros, multiples of them, and turn them into one single fixture. If there's one thing that we figured out about mixed tanks and uh, SPS tanks in the last few years, the biggest problem as the tank ages is uh, actually shadowing and uh, the coral is actually not only shadowing their neighbors but the inner workings of themselves specifically to the SPS corals. Mm. So one of the things you do when you add the five bracket is with five of these things the size of the light itself is now the size of the object we're trying to illuminate which is why and how we're able to eliminate all those shadows. And it's going to perform really, really well in a tank like that. Number three, you get asked all the time, can I replace my supplemental T5s with an LED strip? And the answer is yes. So don't make the mistake of not thinking that uh, you can replace your T5s using LEDs. And our tests actually show that a single one of these outperforms a single T5 bulb. Yeah, one of the biggest benefits of T5s is actually just that it's fill light. Yeah. So you're adding in fill light to get rid of the shadows, get uh, uh, light to areas that otherwise wouldn't get light from a tiny little puck. So in this case, there's two angles to it. Yes, we found out we actually tested it, that it actually produces better spread than most T5s, or at least the ones we tested, and more PAR. So the answer is definitely you can replace in the fill light. But we also found that when you put it on the five bracket, that it actually outperforms the entire grids of T5s as well. Mm. So it just works really, really well at creating that blanket of light in the tank. However, like T5s, there is another challenge. Yeah, so uh, the mistake here is thinking that these LEDs, and just because they're LEDs, is going to add a ton of shimmer to your tank. It's actually the opposite with these strips of multiple LEDs. Yeah, so if you have a lot of uh, lower powered LEDs, which is what you have here, you're going to get that nice blanket light, the same thing you get from T5s. However, because there's so many intersecting points of light, it's a little bit of a softer look and you don't have a ton of shimmer. So just know that going into it or add something like a Kessel into the mix, which will create that shimmer and then the blanket of light as well. All right, so if you go for the XHOs, there's a really low cost thing you should pick up. Yeah, so the XHOs, the mistake with the XHOs is not picking up this little inline dimmer. They don't come with the XHOs, but it, you could otherwise, you know, spend 130 or 150 bucks or around there for the other control methods. But just for like less than 20 bucks, you can pick up one of these and now you can control the intensity of your XHOs. Number six, a lot of us are looking for the lowest cost option out there. And lowest cost doesn't mean just dollar value. It means dollar value at a specific performance level. Yeah, so this is a mistake of not considering the LumiLight Pros as the second lowest cost per par that we measured, in which case that means you're getting more bang for your buck. Yeah, so cost per par, for those of you who didn't see the uh, LED showdown we did, uh, what cost per par is, is we took all of the popular lights that uh, we've tested here, we took the average par produced from our tests and then divided by the cost, and that's gonna produce uh, not just like is one cheaper than the other, but it's actual performance divided by mm -hmm. uh, the actual cost. So this actually was the number two in terms of uh, lowest cost per far with the Lumi Light Pros. Number seven, one of the only options where you can actually adjust where the light goes really easy. Yeah, the mistake is uh, overlooking that you can aim these, especially you know, especially when you put them on like the uh, five or three bracket. There's only uh, two single points for every strip, which means I now have a pivotable uh, location where I can turn it towards the front of the tank, the back of the tank, or wherever I'm missing the light. 
Number eight, uh, we'll go through it quick because every light should have this. Yeah, so the mistake is not having a PAR meter to test your PAR. Uh, we give you some of the uh, settings that we would use in the Investigates videos, but get a PAR meter. Yeah, I don't think, I say this a lot, but I don't think there is a single place where 70 bucks will have a higher return on investment of anything you put in the tank. Nothing will help you be more successful than tuning in the par of your tank, especially because so many people are widely outside of the ideal ranges. Mm -hmm. Some people are just lucky and maybe it has no return, but that isn't very many people. All right, so number nine, they sell a white one. They have a uh, tinic blue and then they have a 50-50, which is a mix. What's the right ratio? Yeah, so we did some spectrum testing, so don't uh, make the mistake of not understanding how to mix and match your LED colors, the reef brights, in which case we found a, if you do a one-third 50-50, which is the blue and white, and you do two-thirds actinic strips, it hits those spectrum peaks that we're looking for and actually looks really awesome in the tank. Yeah, so on a five bracket, it was two 50-50s and three actinic blues mm -hmm. and just kind of balance them out. Uh, and uh, not only did it look good on the par or the spectrometer, but we also measured it to the eye. Yeah. Does it make the tank look good? And that is the right ratio. Number 10, what about the white ones? Yeah, the mistake is buying the white ones. So <laughs> we tested, we mixed and matched a whole three of them in different configurations, test spectrum, did all this, looked at them over the tank. And I think the number one deciding factor of us not using the white ones is because it didn't make the tank look good. So we forewent the white ones. Yeah. So if you wanted to, you could. Uh, and what we found is uh, the same kind of mix of four atinic blues and one white would actually produce a fairly desirable look. But uh, we did all the mixing matching ourselves and maybe find something different. But for us, I just forgo the white ones and go with the mix of 50-50s and atinic blues. All right, so if there's only one thing you heard today, let it be this. Yeah, for me, it's all about control. And rather than having your uh, XHOs at 100% and just putting them on a timer, you can actually dial them in for pretty cost effective, under like 20 bucks, get the dimmers. All right, and uh, for me, it's actually this. I'm setting up my own tank at home right now. I normally go Kessels uh, and T5s. That's been like the go-to. It's just produced the best, most consistent results uh, over time for me. But I no longer want to change out bulbs and I no longer want to have to bring them to the recycling center because they're hazardous waste. I, I just want to <laughs> skip. I want to move past uh, all of that. And so for me, when it comes to it, I can select anything here in the warehouse and I selected the Kessels and uh, the uh, XHO strips from my own house. All right, so if you want to see that discussion about how we came to that conclusion for uh, my own home, you can see that right here, or you can check out all of the Lumilites and XHOs from Reef Bright right here.